Winter may mean bad roads and other yearly struggles, but this winter's cold temperatures could offer some relief for nature. Emerald ash borer is an invasive insect that has spread rapidly since appearing in the United States, including several areas around Delaware County and on Ball State's campus. But with temperatures dipping below zero, many of the insects were wiped out. According to the Department of Natural Resources, as much as half of the borer population did not survive the winter. Ball State Department of Biology Chair Kim Badger says the bug can quickly devastate a tree. I've seen it on a tree go from the time I first noticed it, uh, go fairly rapidly within a season or two. Uh, it could have been there in a small amount before that, but uh, it, goes, it can go fairly rapidly once there's enough larvae feeding on the tree. In an infestation of emerald ash borer, what happens is an adult bug gets underneath the bark of a tree and lays eggs. When those eggs hatch into larvae, the larvae feed on the inner workings of the tree, which causes the bark to die, which is what happens to this tree here. Now, when the bark of a tree dies, essentially circulation within the tree is killed, meaning that water and other nutrients can't get up and down the tree. This eventually causes a tree to die. Muncie Parks Department urban forester Kelly McClellan says anything that can slow down the spread of infestation is welcome, but cold temperatures alone will not solve the problem. They produce these larvae that live inside the bark, produce a natural um, antifreeze chemical to protect themselves. Plus, since they're under the bark, that's where they live, um, they're not subjected to the air temperature like we are, so that's why wind chill doesn't play a factor. The Parks Department is evaluating what they can do next to combat the bug once things thaw. In Muncie, A.J. Brammer, News Lincoln, Indiana.